What's up everybody for the Winitachi here, you know what it is, bringing you guys back more information for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, as you guys can already tell by the title. This video is next level. The amount of information that we've received for Pokemon Sun and Moon over the past couple of months has been dumbfounded. It has been absolutely amazing. We've found so much information for this game, pretty much the whole game has been spoiled. Not everything key parts per se, but uh... A lot of the information has been spoiled compared to the other games back in the franchise days of the history of Pokemon. Uh, but Pokemon Sun and Moon, this is the latest information. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. And we're always going to be starting off with the trailer that we've got for us today. So let's go ahead and check it out. New discoveries in Alola! Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, what do we got? What do we got? First time I'm actually checking this out. Oh, new Pokemon type. Okay. Alright. It's uh, type is null. Uh, normal ability is battle armor. I don't even know, man. It's like a dog with a wooden. With, I don't even know what the hell. Okay, this is the devolved form, I'm assuming. No? Jangmo. Oh, okay, this is a different type of Pokemon completely. Dragon type, the ability of bulletproof and soundproof. The last Pokemon didn't even have a name. This one has a name. And it's Jung Mo O. It's a, dra a dragon type. Raticate! Alright, from Raditad, you guys know it has in the long. Oh, wow. Those cheeks, dude. Like a hamster compared to a rat. This guy's soaring stuff into pouches for sure. Got that dark normal type, looking like the mafia type, just like the other rat attack from the Alola form. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are set 12 hours apart. Looks like Pokemon Sun is related to Pokedex uh, Nintendo 3DS timeline, and Pokemon Moon is 12 hours apart. Certain events will play out differently. So it looks like Pokemon Moon is about 12 hours ahead of Pokemon Sun. Uh, introducing the Aether Foundation. Oh, goddamn, she hot as. Lusamine, Aether's glamorous president. She definitely glamorous here today. What, what, what is, what is uh, Aether's? Uh, Faba, Aether's branch chief. Got, oh, this guy's looking like freaking Rick and Morty. Guy looking like the goddamn professor over here. Wiki, got assistant branch chief. GFWB! Alright, Aether Foundation, the employees out. That, look, that, that girl looks like she's 12. She's already working. She's already working and twerking, son. Team Skull's Enforcer, Gladion. We've got the main enforcer here, finally. Get the, we, if you guys want to go ahead and check out the rest of Team Skull's squad, go ahead and check out our previous videos in our Pokemon Sun and Moon update. Search for the Alola region for Zygarde cells and cores. Kind of weird because all the cores are with. Um, the Kalos region for X and Y, but I guess we get to do this in the Alola region. It's kind of a little bit weird. Uh, off of the anime. Uh, taking photos is a snap with the Pokefinder. Oh, damn! We get to bring back Pokemon Snap, son, from Nintendo 64. And we get to do it with the Pokefinder. And, oh, I'm assuming it has to do with the Rotom decks. They just showed Rotom, so... Pokefinder, yep, within the Rotom decks. That's pretty cool. Oh, Dragon. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty sick, though. This is gonna be sick. A mysterious threat, Ultra Beast. Do we got more information here, son? What is this? Looks like a freaking jellyfish. UB01. UB01. Mysterious threats. Poke oh, that's all you're gonna give us. You're gonna leave us hanging like that. Alright. Available November 18th of 2016. Alrighty, everybody. Now, with all that information, we gotta go in depth on this. So, starting off with a thorough analysis of the secrets of two different worlds of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Basically, some of the Pokemon that appear in Pokemon Sun and Moon are different. And what's more, there's a different way uh, time is set in the two games. So we're going to be talking about the 12-hour the difference from Pokemon Sun and Moon and why. Except for a few scenes, time in Pokemon Sun and Moon is tied to the actual time. Pokemon Sun operates on the same time your Nintendo 3DS system will be, but uh, time in Pokemon Moon is going to be shifted by 12 hours. So whatever time, let's say it is 3 uh, p.m. in the afternoon at your time, you're going to be playing at 3 in the morning when you, if you're playing on Pokemon Moon. Some of the Pokemon that appear in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are different, including the Solgaleo and Lunala, which are the legendaries which hold the key to the story. It seems that some Pokemon that appear as totem Pokemon in the Trials are also different. Next up, we've got that Pokefinder. It's a feature as the Pokefinder allows you to take pictures of Pokemon you find, just like Pokemon Snap from Nintendo 64. It's loaded with uh, into the Poke uh, the Rotom decks. Alright, cool, I was correct on that. So it is loaded into the Rotom decks. Uh, when you use the Pokefinder, in certain photo spots scattered throughout the Alola region, you can take photos of Pokemon. Alright, so it's not going to be wild. There's specific spots in the game where you'll be able to find specific Pokemon. The pictures you take will be evaluated, and as you take better pictures, more features like the ability to zoom in 
will become available. Pretty cool, extra cool, nice little feature. Uh, this wasn't in the video, but it was released on a side note on social media as well. Uh, my wishes for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. This is the crit, one of the creators for Pokemon Sun and Moon and from the Nintendo Pokemon franchise. The comments below came from the basic game freaks, uh, Shigeru Omar, uh, the director of these games, uh, to express the wishes that poured into the creation of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So one of the questions was why I chose Sun and Moon for the titles. They live on a planet overflowing with life. This is Earth of ourselves revolves around the sun, and in turn, the moon revolves around the Earth. When you look at the sun and the moon from the Earth, they appear to be traveling through the sky in similar orbits. But when you change the perspective, you come to realize that their orbits are completely different. Yet the Earth and the sun and the moon are all tied in one another. And life grows and flourishes as they work to influence upon one another. Humans also interact with people, or all different kinds. They influence one another and in turn are influenced by others. It is only through this miraculous balance that we can live here as we do. In these titles, he wanted to express the brilliance of life and the relationships between humans and Pokemon as they influence one another. That is why he chose the names of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, which have an influence over our own Earth. This is a perfect timing for this title and the perfect timing for his uh, theory on this. And why he chose the titles to take place in different worlds, uh, between Pokemon Sun and Moon, there's a 12-hour difference. This is our first attempt at making a great difference between two game versions, which is very cool and unique. I'm going to be very happy about this. In the Alola region, Pokemon that you might encounter on the same route can vary between day and night. And so, this time difference allows players completely different experiences. And it doesn't stop at Pokemon. Some events are also different from one version to the other. So they hope we can enjoy both worlds. So they want to get raking that money and raking the dough. I'm going to be purchasing both anyway. So you guys know what it's at. And why they're so particular about expressing night and evening. To show the Alola region's rich nature and beautiful towns, they have in particular with the lighting. Thanks to that, the same loca location can have completely different appearance depending on the time. Sometimes wrapped in a gentle glow of moonlight, sometimes illuminated by the crimson of the sun setting over the sea. At times, the same event will appear different natural phenomena in two versions, which can only be seen in Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon, so I hope it will be fun for players to compare the two and find these differences. They've poured themselves into the work, and as they can feel the atmosphere and sense of closeness, that makes it seem so Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are going to be two different de games, pretty much. Very similar but a little bit of tweaks here and there. As you guys saw towards the end of that video where we just left hanging, a mysterious presence threatens the Alola region. Ultra Beast. In the Alola region, rumors are flying about mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beasts. Ultra Beasts possess mighty powers and could pose a threat to the humans and Pokemon, so they are feared. It appears that the Aether Foundation is also conducting research on the Ultra Beasts, so that's where they come in. According to rumor, multiple Ultra Beasts exist each of them called by a code name. This one is UB01. Body is composed of a glass-like substance, however, it's consistently changing shape, never setting on one. While evidence of something like a survival instinct can be observed by UB01, no one knows whether it has a will of its own or any emotions. It's said that for some reason its movements resemble those of a young girl. So it does look like a young girl. It looks like a jellyfish, but it does have a glass-like feature. So that's very very interesting. Now, those that are in the discussion of that, Aether Foundation. The Aether Foundation works in the Alola region. The Foundation's goal is to care for the Pokemon that have been hurt. The Aether Foundation has constructed an artificial island called Aether Paradise. So that's that artificial island that has nothing to do with anything. So that's that one extra island. So we're going to be traveling there. There, they not only shelter the Pokemon, but also conduct various research projects. It seems that the main character will also be able to visit Aether Island uh, Aether Paradise during the adventure. Lusamine. The lovely Lusamine uh, functions as the Aether Foundation's president. Faba. The Aether Foundation branch thief sports green sunglasses. Their signature accessory. He seems very proud of his position as branch chief. We got Wiki. The assistant branch chief of Aether Paradise has a caring personality, so she's loved by all the Aether Foundation employees, as well as the employees of the Aether Foundation. The employees of the Aether Foundation shelter and care for the Pokemon. The uniforms appear to depend on which division they belong to. Next up, a pair of trainers investigating Zygarde. Dexio and Sina will allow or will show up as you progress through your adventure. These two appeared in X and Y as Professor's assistants. They'll give us an item called the Zygarde Cube. 
and as is to collect Zygarde's cores and Zygarde's cells. For those of you that are tuning into the anime, it is squishy. Uh, collecting Zygarde cores and Zygarde cells. Uh, the object giving off light can be found in various locations throughout the Alola region. These Zygarde cores and Zygarde cells, aka squishy, you can also collect them in a Zygarde cube you received from Dexio and Sina. If you collect lots of cores and cells, the path to finding Zygarde in Sun and Moon will become clear. Team Skull, we finally get to see the boss. In the Alola region, a group of ruffians known as Team Skull causes a lot of trouble. They steal other po people's Pokemon, mess up the trial sites, and delight in all kinds of evil deeds. Gladion, this young man, leads his strength to Team Skull as an enforcer. He places a high value on being strong in the Pokemon battles. His partner Pokemon is a mysterious Type Null. So Type Null is one of those new Pokemon that we saw, and I thought it wasn't the real name. I thought it was a typing thing, but it is actually the actual name of that Pokemon. Next up, we've got the Alolan Raticate. These are the Pokemon that have been introduced into this video. If you guys want to go ahead and check out Alolan Raditat, all the other 50 plus Pokemon that we've seen, be sure to check it out in the Pokemon Sun and Moon updates uh, videos on my channel. But the Alolan Raticate category, Mass Pokemon Type, Dark Normal, Height of 2, Weight of 56, and the Ability of Gluttony and Hustle. Because urban areas are their main habitat, their diet is higher in calories than ordinary Raticate. As a result, they have become hefty. Alolan Raticate prefer to eat only fresh fruits and high-class ingredients. There are rumors that certain top-notch restaurants take advantage of the Alolan Raticate's taste buds by bringing it along when choosing ingredients to buy it, and having it to taste it. Uh, test taste uh, new dishes. Alolan Raticate continually stockpile huge amounts of food in their nest. They mostly prefer to send out Alolan Raditat to gather food while they themselves stay home and become fat ass. Alolan Raticate and the Totem Pokemon of the trial that take place in the Verdon Cavern or Cavern on Melamele Island in Pokemon Moon, it summons, oh, so it's Pokemon Moon specific, it summons Raditat to help it confront those that take on in the trial. Gumshoes appears in the Totem Pokemon and Variant Cavern in Pokemon Sun. So we got Gumshoes and Sun, Pokemon Moon got the Raticate. Next up, Zheng Mo O. It's a scaly Pokemon, it's a dragon type, so I'm pretty sure it's going to get uh, double evolutions. Uh, weight is 65, height of 2, and the ability of bulletproof and soundproof. Zheng Mo has the pride of a warrior, although it remains humble about his capabilities and his pursuit to become stronger, it never neglects his training. So it's definitely going to have an evolution. Because Jung Mo uses the scales on its head for both offense and defense, it never turns its back to its enemies. Many trainers see this behavior and take it as proof that Jung Mo is a valiant Pokemon. Jung Mo gather in harsh locales for, like canyons, uh, where no other po people or Pokemon are around to live on, so as they train. And Type Null is this really interesting Pokemon, and it is the actual name of this Pokemon. It's a synthetic Pokemon. It's normal, height of 6, weight of 265, and the ability of battle armor. This Pokemon wearing a mask has been dubbed Null, meaning nothing. The shapes of its front and hind legs are clearly different. The reason is that Type Null was constructed to synthesize the strengths of various Pokemon, enabling it to adapt to any situation. The mask on uh, fifth, the mask fitted to Type Null's head is a piece of equipment designed to control its latent powers. It's extremely heavy. So it also serves as or to hinder Type Null's agility. To complete a certain mission, there was a need of Pokemon with powerful strength enough to rival those Pokemon often spoken of in mythology. And I just want to say for those of you that tuned in, thank you very much for tuning in. That was a lot of information. Got any questions? Post in the comment section down below. Check out the uh, description box. Giveaways galore, sponsorships, social media links, donations link, you name it, you got it. Again, please be sure to check out the Pokemon Updates playlist for more updates on Pokemon Sun and Moon, and for those that are interested in more updates on Pokemon in general. Thank you very much for tuning in. For the one Itachi, it's out.